So Sanai, what exactly is overtraining? What does it mean when someone just trains in the gym entirely too much? That means you get strong. Yeah, but what if they're like doing it too much? Like way too much? Get too strong? Bro, I just got back from the doctor. It's kind of crazy. So apparently I have tendonitis in my elbow. And then he says like, I might have torn my MCL. I don't feel that way though, whatever. But it, something about an ACL and then my calf muscle, I need a massage therapist. So uh, are you okay? That's a huge list of stuff. Like, that's, are you gonna be okay? Yeah, man, I'm fine. I, I'm, I feel great, man. As a matter of fact, uh, you want to go to the gym? <laughs> Yo, it's Kurt Mac Fit Life Scope. How y'all doing? I'm doing good. I'm doing good. Thanks for asking. Listen, if this is your first time seeing me, we're a group of fit-minded individuals working together to become the best versions of ourselves. So if that sounds like you, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Join the Life Scope family. Right, Sanai? Do that. All right, so overtraining, overtraining. Overtraining is just when you're doing too much. You are doing too much. And overtraining occurs when you are putting more stress on your muscle, on your body, faster than your body can repair. Faster than your body can fix all that damage you're doing to it when you're jumping around going nuts. Now listen, I admire dedication. I admire tenacity, perseverance, going hard in the gym, tearing weights to dust. I admire all of that. But yo, rest is equally as important when you're training, especially if you're doing intense exercise. I'm talking hit. I'm talking strength training. If you're going to the gym and you're just banging out reps, if you do CrossFit, if you do any kind of Zumba, well, maybe not Zumba, yeah, maybe not Zumba, but like Orange Theory, you know, things like that where the workouts are intense and you're going for quite a long bit of period of time. These type of workouts require rest, rest, rest. I have a friend who uh, does CrossFit five days a week, which is the epitome of dedication. Clearly this person wants to reach their fitness goals and they're gonna do it at all costs. Beautiful. Beautiful, I'm all about it. Life's go, baby. Let's do that. But check this out. These CrossFit classes aren't catered to you individually. These group classes aren't catered to you individually. Your fitness goals, your body type, your strengths, your weaknesses, they are not catered to you. They're catered to the entire group. So when you're going to a CrossFit class and on Monday you do squats, Tuesday you do thrusters, and on Wednesday they have you doing 90 walking lunges, clearly you are working your legs quite a bit and you're doing it back to back to back to back. Now you might be a boss. You might be just crazy. Like you could just handle the most craziest type of stress. Great. But over weeks, over months, and even days, you can build up some serious wear and tear on those muscles and end up with some serious muscle imbalances or injuries. Here are some signs that you are possibly overtraining. So if you find yourself consistently sore, that is a sign. Um, irritability can be a sign. Um, increased vulnerability to injury. Let's say you just get injured all the time. When you hit the gym, you're always getting injured. You might be working your muscles a little too much. Sometimes when you're overtraining, you get you develop a weaker immune system. You catch colds easier, you get fevers, you get all types of stuff, little bugs here and there. That might be a sign that you're overtraining. Um, depression can also be a sign that you're overtraining. The point here is to listen to your body. Listen to your body. If you're hurting, it's probably not best to work on those sore muscles. Yes, there's a thing called active recovery. We're not talking about that right now. We're talking about the fact that you're sore and your muscle needs a rest. So how do you prevent overtraining? 
Well, one is the obvious, rest. You just need to rest. Two would be to listen to your body. Pay attention to when you're sore, how you're sore, how long you're sore. Pay attention to these things, and if you are not feeling up to par body-wise, you know, your brain will always want to battle you when you're doing things to develop yourself. But if your body feels like crap, then it's probably safe to say that you might need a day off. Three would definitely be to stretch. Um, a lot of injury can be a result of consistent muscle tightness. When you work out and you put your body under this tension, under this stress, the muscles have a tendency to tense up. And to relieve that pressure, to relieve that tension, you need to stretch. You need to get loose, you need to get the blood flowing. It's vital, it's very important. I've injured myself several times just because I was too lazy to take 15 minutes, 10 minutes, five minutes just to stretch before my workout and after my workout. So make sure you stretch, and I learned that the hard way. Four, you wanna make sure you're getting the necessary nutrition. You wanna make sure that you are eating well and that you're eating appropriately for the amount of work you're putting in in the gym. Um, there is a whole host of benefits to a lot of different healthy foods that can help you. There are also supplements that will help you recover from your workouts a lot faster. There are supplements that help you get through your workouts a lot easier, give you the strength and endurance to keep going. But if you aren't taking these supplements and if you aren't eating correctly, you are putting yourself at some serious risk, especially if you're a go-getter and you're working hard day after day after day without the proper nutrition, rest, and without the proper supplements, as if you want to take supplements because you don't need them, but if you want to, then uh, yeah, you are at risk for some serious injuries. And so make sure you're getting your proper nutrients. Uh, number five, you need to take a nap, right, Sanat? Mm -hmm. Time to take a nap. Mm -hmm. It's important to get the proper amount of sleep. I mean, if you're not sleeping, if you're training really hard and you're not sleeping, you're setting yourself up for failure, you know? A lot of things happen when you're resting, when you sleep. A lot of growth happens, a lot of repair happens, so it's important that you get the proper amount of sleep. Right, Sanat? Mm -hmm. See? Number six, you should probably just rest, right? Mm -hmm. Number seven, you should probably just rest, right? Number eight, just subscribe to the YouTube channel. Subscribe to my dad's YouTube channel, nerd. Yeah, yeah. Uh, number nine, you probably just need to rest, right? And ten, maybe you should get a fitness trainer or a gym partner, someone who's experienced with working out that can advise you on how many days you should be working out a week what muscle groups to work out and things like that. Now going to classes is great and I'm not knocking it, but if you're gonna do CrossFit or any classes like that, be mindful of the movements that you're doing each day. I mean, most CrossFit gyms only recommend that you come three times a week. So if you're going four or five or six even, there's a chance that you're working the same muscles over and over again and you're not allowing the proper rest. And apparently Sanai is trying to tell you guys that Papa knows the truth, right? Word up, daddy got the truth. I'm the truth, right? Word up. So bro, when is the last time you've been to the gym? About two months. You haven't run, jogged, jumped, or anything. Bro, I saw your video about overtraining, so I'm resting. I need to take care of this. You taking care of that? What? Okay, okay, you should know when you're resting too much. I mean, do I even have to tell you that? To sum this all up, you just wanna make sure that you're wise about your training. It's totally admirable to watch someone go hard in the gym. You know, I have been one of those people, but I've also suffered a lot of injuries because um, I didn't take a smart approach to my training, which is why I preach it so heavily here on this channel. Be smart about your training. Don't end up all broken and beat up and falling apart. And just be smart, just be smart. Just be smart, just be intelligent. Hit me up, email me at lifescope at gmail.com if you have any questions about a workout program or something that you're currently doing. Um, I'm a per certified personal trainer, so I can help you with that. Um, plus, I'm a fitness enthusiast, been doing this for a long time. So I have a little bit of knowledge under my belt. I might be able to point you in the right direction if I don't know a thing. So hit me up, like, comment, and subscribe. This is Lifescope. We're more than a few pounds down. We're more than a few pounds of muscle. We're stronger, we're wiser, we're better than we were yesterday. Fit mind, fit body. This is Kurt Mac Fit, and I'm out.
Yeah, so the doctor said I had tendinitis, bursitis, gingivitis, laryngitis, and neitis. He gave me a cupcake. Ooh. <laughs>